Hi, <coughs> my name is Chandrasekhar. I'm a professor in the College of Pharmacy at the University of Finlay. Today I'm going to do a short recording telling you the difference between bioinformatics and health informatics. The reason I'm making this recording is a uh, few weeks back, somebody who has joined a bioinformatics program at an another university in USA has shown interest in transferring to the health informatics in, at the University of Finlay. And he mentioned that he really didn't know what the difference was between bioinformatics and health informatics. Bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary field that encompasses biology, computer science and information technology. So if you really want to get started at an MS level bioinformatics, I would say that you should have a good foundation in biology. You should have an interest in computer science. The bioinformatics enables the discovery of new biological insights by analyzing large data sets of genes and proteins that have been collected. With all the data which has been now collected by various sources, commercial agencies as well, uh, of the research scientists, the bioinformatics person can put together this data, analyze this data to make 3D models of molecules, cells, tissues, and even entire organism, and thereby help with this drug discovery and screening, as well as for very other uses. So bioinformatics, if you want to do it, you better be in good in biology, have got at least a fondness for computer science, and it's an interdisciplinary field where you put these things together. On the other hand, health informatics deals with the health data. Remember, bioinformatics is the biology data. Health informatics assists in identifying trends that could give insights on the health condition of patients and care processes. As the elderly population increases, the health care cost keeps on going up. There are limited funds available in every society to take care of the health needs of the population. And by using the health informatics professional putting his uh, knowledge into action you can reduce the cost of healthcare delivery at the same time optimize the delivery so that is and who would be good in health informatics I believe if you have a knowledge in any healthcare field you are a nurse you are a pharmacist you are a doctor and if you love computer sciences then that may be a better choice for you. Now, the demand for health informatics jobs is predicted to increase over the next decade. The medical facilities from hospitals to nursing homes are scrambling to find qualified professionals to help successfully complete the federally mandated goals to implement the meaningful use of electronic health and medical records. Remember, the health informatics became possible simply because now in US, almost everybody is selected to collect data electronically. So all the records are electronically collected. So all this information is available. And so now you can dive into that information and try to get some meaningful outcomes, which can reduce the cost and at the same time improve the patient outcome. At the, this slide, basically gives you some basic information on the health informatics being offered at the University of Finlay. As you can see in the last tab here, the University of Finlay is ranked as the top online masters in health informatics program in the nation for 2019, according to bestcollegereviews.org. You may like to go to the best college review site and try to see what other information you have here. If you are a BPharm graduate or a PharmD graduate, and if you are interested in health informatics at the University of Finlay, I encourage you first to take the IELTS exam for your English. And you have to get a score of 6.5. And once you get the score of 6.5, then you can go online and apply for a health information uh, application. It's under the graduate school. 
and I have provided a link for that website so you may like to directly click the link here and go to the website and get other additional information. Recently I have posted an interview with a student from India who is just graduated from health informatics so you may like to check out that view also. It costs about eighteen thousand uh, dollars. It costs about thirty thousand for a two-year program, according to that student. And if you want additional information, you can email me at sekar@finley.edu, or you can WhatsApp me at the number zero zero one five one three two five eight eight seven four seven. Again, thank you for watching. Hopefully, it provided some basic information to. Uh, start your research. Thank you.